War. Hello, 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 everyone. I shifted just as I started, um, and Charles started slipping underneath the desk. But I'm here a little late. It's 10.05, but I'm ready to play some Sims today. Um, I kind of don't know what I want to do, which is why I titled it ambiguously. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, like, play through live mode or if I just want to, like, build a house for somebody or do something build mode wise um but i figured that either way it would be a nice cozy sim sesh so i titled it accurately i feel <laughs> um who knows maybe we won't even wind up playing all that much sometimes sometimes the discussion is too much you know so we'll see um at the very least, I feel like I should hop in and see where we left off, because I really don't remember a single thing. Hello, Charles. I know. You're going to have to deal with my arm being there like that, though. I don't think he minds that much. You guys can't see, but he, like, flops into my arm. It's very silly. Toddlers can gain movement skill. They can run? Why have I never seen a toddler run? Maybe I don't explore enough. Because I feel like, first of all, I feel like Melody was not a great infant because we didn't have to learn how to sit up or anything like that she was just like instantly able to crawl which is wild um and maybe lucky <laughs> i feel like next next generation we're only having one kid i can't do the whole three kids all at once thing again that was, this has been too much <laughs> alongside two pets both both times too we had dilbert and miss kitty and now we have cashew and fabo we're definitely doing some ignoring of, of some needs and stuff. <laughs> um, I guess you should come go potty. And then you can go to bed. Hey, Cozy, how you doing this afternoon? Welcome on in. What's Vikram up to? He wants to be in a well-decorated area and try for a baby with Bianca. Well, you're not doing either of those, I guess. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I've had a nice, lovely morning so far. I did my Spanish lessons kind of early today. I've kind of hung out on the porch for a while. I cuddled with Charles for a lot while. It's been a nice, cozy Sunday morning so far. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I want to play today or if I want to build or what the what the deal is because I, I looked at shell challenges yesterday and I couldn't find any um bases for them you know just the shell of the shell challenge um lost an hour oh so you guys clocks changed too I was wondering when that would happen because arch changed last week two weeks ago I think it was two weeks ago um and I know that we do it at different times. <laughs> but you guys just did that last night. Okay. It's been nice. Uh, the sun has been out until like 8 p.m. again lately. It has been pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's part of why I haven't been streaming in the evening. Because it's just like still so nice out when I would normally be streaming. That I'm just like, I want to spend some time on the porch right now. <laughs> An apartment for the kids, maybe. Because I thought about it. Blake is kind of close to moving out, probably. Um, let's let's check, check real quick. He's got two weeks. Um, but maybe we can decorate an apartment for him at some point in the stream. First, I'm going to make sure that everyone's, like, doing okay, because I don't remember anything about where I left off. <laughs> I was trying to title it based on something in-game, and then I was, like, thinking, and I was like, I don't remember one thing. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, it's not going to be too much space if it's an apartment, too. 
we'll choose one of the smaller ones. <laughs> Ideally, it's just going to be for, for him and what was his girlfriend's name? Sophia? Sophia Bjergsten. Okay, so she's hacking her work performance. That's right, that's right. She can continue doing that. Catboy is... Oh my god. Telling me about the stinking plates that people have put up on the shelves. Rude. Alright, well, we'll leave that there for the second. Actually, you know what? No, we don't need the $70. My fortune has been steadily declining. Um, a one bud? Yeah, I think I could handle that, honestly. Hey, Nico, how you doing this afternoon? Welcome on in. I wish sewers were counted as on the shelf, but I know why they can't be, you know? <laughs> um... You're fatigued from working out. And you have not yet started your homework, so you know what? You should start your homework. And you are going to go to the bathroom, that's right. Perfect. Go team. I can't believe Jasper is a cat boy. <laughs> we didn't even choose that for him. Oh, you know what? We haven't really checked him out in cast yet. Before we get too far into this, let's pause the game. I don't think we've taken that much close of a look at Jasper. I want it to, um, the apartment, by the way, um, <laughs> totally hearkening back to a conversation from like a minute and a half ago. Um, I think I want it to be two bedrooms only because I do want there to be space for him to have a kid. I don't think I'm going to get him pregnant. Well, get Sophia pregnant um, before I move them out. I think I'm just going to get them married and then move them out and I'll let them decide whether or not they want to have a kid. And then maybe Jasper will like get him pregnant or have him have a kid before we move him out. Um, not like have the kid before we move him out. I'm not taking care of the kid for Jasper. No way. Um, <laughs> but, like, maybe we'll make sure Jasper has a kid and Blake can be ambiguous on whether or not he gets a kid. Because <laughs> hmm. Melody obviously has to have a kid. That's She's our heir, you know? We, we have to continue the generations. <laughs> um, so Jasper was kind of red as his color. Oh, you know what? We did take a look and cast. We already did all this, though. So. His fucking workout clothes with the cat ears on. <laughs> Working out with fucking cat ears on. <laughs> I think I would rather die, probably. <laughs> there is no cat boy laser strong enough to uh, make me do that at the gym. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> once I mentioned it, I was like, oh no, I have said the words out loud. <laughs> the magic words. I, yeah, <laughs> I sort of did that one to myself. <laughs> I made fun of a cat boy. It's, what can you do about it? <laughs> Every stream until Jasper moves out. <laughs> it's what I deserve, frankly. For, for allowing a cat boy into my sim's good Christian home. <laughs> She's a criminal, and he's a kleptomaniac, <laughs> and still the cat boy is the heinous offense here. <laughs> ah, the dog is dirty again. Cashew, why are you such a dirty bitch? Encouraged to mate with? No. <laughs> we don't want puppies. <laughs> Letting me off just the once. Oh, well, I appreciate the consideration. <laughs> Blake is home from school. 
he had an annoying school day. Okay. And also somehow a good grades school day. Um, he can have some leftovers and then he, he can start the laundry being washed because apparently no one else did that. Jasper's still doing his homework. He wants to become confident. Aren't you self-assured? That's from being selfish. <laughs> That's funny. The quirk that makes him become self like confident every once in a while is the reason that he wants to become confident right now. Charles, you little monster. He's so funny. When I don't let him out as fast as he wants to, he pulls himself along the side of my bed on the floor like a fucking, like, Roomba. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it from, from there when he does it, but he, like, he fully just, like, on the floor <laughs> along the bed. <laughs> it's so funny. He does that with a laundry basket. It must be a cat thing. They just love pulling themselves along. <laughs> it's usually if I haven't let him out of the room fast enough. It's almost never for any other reason. <laughs> Beautiful. What is this? Who put the BLT sideways in midair? <laughs> what? Why? Oh. Sophia's calling. Oh my god, she wants to go on a date? It's 3.55 on a Monday? Yeah, let's go on a date. Cats are hilarious. They're so silly. I tell Charles that at least once a day. I, let, I have to let him know how fucking silly he is. Because <laughs> he is. <coughs> He's so freaking clingy. Last night, I was chilling on my bed, and I was, like, leaning like this on my pillows, kind of. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Hold on. I need the game to be paused for this. Um, I was chilling like this on my bed, like, on the pillows and everything, and he couldn't lay down on my lap because there wasn't enough space or whatever, so he came and he, like, one paw on each side of my hand, like, laid down. <laughs> on top of my hand because there was no other way to be on top of me he just had to be like right up in my business <laughs> he's so freaking clingy and i love it when i'm in a cuddly mood but sometimes i'm like dude like back up an inch <laughs> i don't need you chilling right here to me thank you <laughs> claiming me i know i know he was like i am going to lay on top of you whether you like it or not <laughs> So, no, once it hits 9 o'clock, he does claim this half of me. I can't move my arm because it's he's decided that he has to lay on top of it. <laughs> once it hits 9 o'clock, that's all he wants to do. So we're going to order food on this date. That's cute. From the barista. Who's not even behind the counter? Look at that walk. He's so snooty. This is a really badly lit cafe, too. And we got pan au chocolat. <laughs> God. <laughs> he turned away from Sophia to fucking shove it in his face. <laughs> uh -huh. And it hasn't even filled my hunger. Sophia and I just, like, aren't even talking. Oh. Let's embrace. I'm busy viewing the art. What do you mean? Wait, no, not introduction. Monkey around. Oh, Gossip a little bit. Oh, 
scoop of yum. Deep conversation. You know, I don't think we know any of Sophia's quirks or her quirks. Her her interests. That's not it. Is it discuss deep thoughts? No. Compliments, hobbies? Where would it be? Small talk. That's it. Get to know. This is way far in there now. Also, we're just doing this at the front of the line. Like, we have not moved <laughs> since we got our food. <laughs> we're that couple. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, shouldn't like that. Vikram's earned five hundred dollars on his day off. That's pretty sick. I'm jealous. Why is she angry? We've learned that she's cheerful and a music lover. That's actually really cute. Why is she angry then? Because we're a glutton and self-assured. I mean, she's got better um, traits than us. <laughs> um, You know what? I think this date is a bust. It doesn't feel like a good one at the very least. So I think we're going to go home. We were in Windenburg, I think. Where? Where are we? Well, that's the Shrieking Llama. Well, we're here. Okay. Good to note for next time. Sorry, Sophia. I'm done with you for the day. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we need to bring Sophia with us. She kind of seems like she's in a mood today, and that's fair. We all have those days, but I'm not going to hang out with her while she's in that mood. <laughs> I'm not going to subject Blake to any torture, you know. He went out. He got some pan au chocolat with her. We found out everything about her there is to know. I think it was a good date. We came back to Mangle on our front store, on our front porch steps. Can we give him a gift? Do we have anything? <laughs> give him my homework. <laughs> hey, can you do this for me? Small forest animal. <laughs> have you done your homework yet, actually? You have not. So you should come do your homework. Even though that's going to drain your fun real bad. Jasper never finished his homework, I don't think. No, he's only 50% done. Come do your homework. Why are you grilling? Don't grill. Give him my homework. I, you know, I would if I wasn't going to uh, be punished for that in the end. Blake still needs that for a good two weeks. <laughs> Bianca's busy dancing. Actually, no. Can you go back to hacking your work performance? That would be lovely of you. And you should go sleep. Mixology level 6, Vikram. Wow. Look at her marching off to her bed. <laughs> Vikram is really weird about mixology. He just loves making drinks. He's not even a drinker. He doesn't even drink them when he finishes making them. He just likes to sit there making drink after drink after drink. <laughs> huh. ah. 
I'm kind of just letting him do whatever he wants to do, because I feel like that's how he will get out of the burnout, maybe? It's kind of sad that my house doesn't give him the well-decorated mood lit very often, though. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't he inspiring decor? Yeah, he's getting inspired from the decor. Why can I not throw this away anymore? Thank you. Jasper completed his homework. Um, and he's no longer sore, but he is about to pee himself and uh, be hungry. So he can come do some chores real quick. Nope, don't cook, actually. Vikram's got the cooking taken care of. <laughs> oh, geez. Blake is dying. <laughs> Blake is never having a good time. At least three of his needs are always, like, in the yellow, if not the red. <laughs> Whereas it feels like Vikram's needs are never... Like, we don't have to worry about him ever. Chatting with Blake, we love to see it. The, the <laughs> stitch from reference of Cheeseburger's ass, we also love to see it. <laughs> I love that this family actually does seem to love spending time with each other. Like, especially since um, Growing Together came out, it seems like they are very, like, they're a very jokey, jovial, love spending time together family. <laughs> But you, my friend, should um, go get dinner and then take a shower. <laughs> it's funny because they really will choose to sit either over here or over there, too. Like, it's never, like, one person sitting over here, one person sitting over here. It's always everybody sitting over here or everybody sitting over here. <laughs> There's no in-between. And he's going to go make a drink. I don't know about that. Maybe instead go to the bathroom. And then... We should find him a well-decorated area to be in. I guess maybe over here. We can come practice some DJing. You're getting tired. It's 8 p.m. You can be a little tired. That's fine. Um... I kind of forgot how much I actually really like... Not like real families. <laughs> I spend time with my family. I spent a good amount of time just chilling with my mom and my stepdad in the living room this morning. Just chilling and chatting. Um, I actually really like his room. And my new possession. I forgot he's material materialistic. I think I did good on this room, actually. Ah. Bianca, please tell me you hacked well. Ah. 
Working smart is better than working harder. Heck yeah. Bianca hacking her work performance is better than both. <laughs> so true, bestie. Um, let's go to the bathroom now, though. Unless she wants to make something of excellent quality or chat with Connor. Can we still, like, call Connor? We can. Oh, we can't. Well, in that case, let's make something. I feel like I don't have many of the elephant sculpture hanging around. Actually, Bianca, before you before you do that, would you like to give the dog a bath? Cashew is disgusting yet again. <laughs> Cashew is always fucking disgusting. I love her, but she is a stinky, stinky dog. Oops, she's gonna walk in on him naked. Oopsie daisies. He needs amusement. Well, Blake, would you like to come play piano for a little bit before you go to bed? Play a concerto. And then go to bed. Jasper is busy working out. me at the gym on leg day <laughs> doggy bath time it's just funny because fabo has not required one bath yet and cashew requires one like every five minutes <laughs> fabo just likes sleeping in his onesie cashew loves rolling in puddles <laughs> another plate diagonal in midair what the fuck who keeps leaving these there <laughs> Um, okay, so she's busy bathing the dog then. He's playing a concerto. He needs to work out for one more hour and then he can go to bed. It's a pretty good concerto. Why does he want to chat with Reuben? Since when does he know Reuben pancakes? <laughs> as far as I knew, the only association he had with Reuben can't pancakes is that we stole from him one time. He is burned out, and it is increasing his burnout to DJ right now, apparently. Strange. I thought this was something he liked doing. Maybe he should relax and unwind with Fabo. That's gotta help with the, with the, um, relaxing, right? <laughs> Hey, he finished it. You can go to bed then. Oh, we have to own two pieces of workout equipment. <laughs> that's funny. I don't think that's going to happen. Why 
Why is it gross out here? Oh, from the mopping. You gotta mop that. Yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. I'm sorry you're burned out, but look, you're, you're relax and unwind with Fabo. Which is maybe the best thing that I can do right now. Like this generation, I I would say the fun, the funnest thing to do, not even steal with Vikram, is relax and unwind with Fabo because it's so fucking cute. I love Fabo. <laughs> Look at his stupid yeah. little face. I love it. <laughs> oh, the toddler's awake. I'm gonna watch Bianca. Okay. You can do that while we grab you some food. Here, have some of this japchae. Don't play in the bookshelf. Stop playing in the bookshelf. Have some food, toddler. What was that? <laughs> oh, you can go to bed now. You've had plenty of fun. Oh, was that the burnout? The burnout's over! Oh, all it took was relaxing and unwinding. That's so cute. You know, we probably can employ a cleaner at this point. <laughs> it probably would be good. Um, oh, that's also probably why he's, he's like, gross, because he's staring at a piece of poop right now <laughs> on his porch. <laughs> it was the poop. <laughs> you know, that makes sense. That one checks out. Oh, and she's come out here to eat. And apparently what she made was not excellent quality. It was just normal quality. Okay, well, kind of lame of you, Bianca. I'm not going to lie. Where can we put it? Where do we have space? Oh, you know what? Right outside her room. Beautiful. What a cute little elephant statue. Okay, go get food. You're busy talking to Fabo. That's fine. I want to get him into a well-decorated area. Do you think his bedroom would count as one? Come listen to carnival beats. And toddler, I guess you should probably be asleep at this point, but I don't think that's going to happen for you. So... Just kidding, this broke the second I was like, go listen to it. <laughs> that's funny. Um, you can come in here. Uh, book, please, maybe? Yeah, with Vikram. That's got to work on her communication, right? See, Bianca was like, oh, they're all eating out here. I'll go eat out here. <laughs> That's so sad now. <laughs> Let's see if we can hire a service, though. Let's see if we can hire a... Um... Request marriage certificate. That's cute. Hire a service. A one-time maid. Wait, why is she uncomfortable? Because she pinched her finger? Yeah. That's fine. Read her a book. Or not. Is that not? Listen to story? Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, though. 
Uh, read toddler book. Oh, there she is. He's already going to read her book. No, that's perfect. Okay. Because that was one of her toddler quirks. She, she enjoys books. So I'm trying to make sure that I read to her. And I think that increases her communication. Rogan and Paza. It doesn't. Maid will arrive at Tuesday at 10 a.m. Okay, so she, well, the maid isn't going to show up for a while then. Um, don't go check your toddler. Your husband is hanging out with her. It's fine. You can come craft a bunny sculpture. Oh my god, and it's like snowing, snowing outside. Oh my god. It is blizzard. Wow, the pond looks kind of funny in the winter. That's, that is some snow. <gasps> Wait, what happened to my bear gnome? My bear gnome is gone. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. He's gone! <laughs> I can't. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We cannot have it happen like this. This gnome that we never see is a pillar of this house, okay? He was one of the main reasons that I put this tree in a box at all, okay? He needs to be here. <laughs> I was robbed. I blame my kleptomaniac sister who came to stay that one time. I didn't see her leave, and I think that she stole a gnome on the way out. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of for why it's... I mean, it was gone. It's not in my household inventory. It wasn't there. It's just gone. <laughs> so someone must have stole it. It's the only explanation. Wow. Oh, the treehouse looks really cute in the winter, too. And the swing set. Oh. And my poor dead tree side yard, side yard of trees. Wow, the trees look kind of bad in the winter, except for the treehouse tree. That's cute, though. We love a good winter storm. <laughs> House full of thieves, and I get shocked when I get robbed, I know. <laughs> I have a room for my stolen stuff, though. You know, it's not like I don't p proudly display it. <laughs> Must have been I and the gnomes, I guess so. We stole a gnome. We did steal a gnome from outside somebody else's house. That is a thing that I have done. So it's only fair that we had one stolen from us as well. <laughs> this is actually looking pretty nice in here now. Um, this candle, let's set it to a nice blue. And then we'll set this one to like a red. Oh. Now that, that is a cool stolen stuff room and then you know we can even set this one set color lights and intensity of this light to purple oh my god that says we stole this stuff <laughs> i don't know why but it that's some coolness i like it some coolness <laughs> um vikram you should go get some dinner it is 1 32 a.m You'll probably want that. And then start the laundry, because apparently no one did that earlier. You can go potty. 
and you gotta finish making this before you go to bed. Vikram at some point made two drinks without me noticing. <laughs> Man is literally obsessed with mixology. Oh my god, the view out Melody's window with the snowy cows. I love it. <laughs> and the way that people would carve in this game, just with a knife. <laughs> Kidnap the home no when they're holding it for ransom. Honestly, at this point, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe I should check the mail. Oh, I can't. There's nothing in there. Amaya and Gary are expecting a new baby. Let's check some neighborhood stories. I feel like um, that's how you find out find out stuff happened to your other sims, you know? Chastity Landgrab had a stem cutter, is now a stem cutter. Toddler adopted by the Wheatley household. A dog was adopted by the gay household. It <gasps> John got a dog! Oh my god! <laughs> See? How would you ever find out things like this? Because that's not, that's not our house, and we don't live in Oasis Springs anymore. The Bollinger is now a caterer. The Campbell household recently moved out. Let's check all the stories, because I think you run out at some point. I think it'll say, like, nothing else has happened. Ian Robles has died. Milking got too close to a cow plant, you know? And now nothing of notice happened. Okay, so all that happened for us was a dog is adopted in the family. That's cool. Okay, once she finishes going pee, I think we gotta get her some blocks, honestly, because I don't think I have those. There we go. And what other toddler activities did I need for her? That's pretty much it. Okay. You, when you're done with the top, with the pin, come build a tower. Did we make an excellent thing? We did! Hooray! We'll put this with the elephant. She's gonna go to bed. Vikram, you can polish this to perfection because you're a cleanly sim. A neat sim. Although the maid is coming over at 10 today, so... Okay, now that we have um, sent most of them to bed, I think I'm going to take Vikram over to see if we can meet John's dog. I just want to see if it's true that they adopted a dog. I mean, I don't know why the neighborhood stories would lie to me like that, but I need to meet the dog. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god. They adopted three dogs! <laughs> oh my god. I was like, why is there so many so many bubbles? What do you mean? What? <laughs> they didn't just adopt one dog. <laughs> they got a whole trio. 
<laughs> you know, I allowed changes to happen in the family. They're making family changes. I, I'm getting what I wanted, I guess. <laughs> I'm excited. I want to meet these dogs. Oh my god, all three of them came out to greet me too. Hold on, look at this. First of all, we should we should have a friendly introduction to John. We don't know John with Vikram, which is so funny to me. <laughs> we got a pack, yeah. We got, oh my god, Pixel. Pixel, Ulrich, and Napoleon. Oh my god, I love them. <laughs> I love all three of them, and we will also introduce ourselves to Martina. Cadence didn't come out to greet us, though. Oh, I forgot that Vikram is observant, so we get to know every all their traits as well. Aww. It's funny, John's a cat lover. Why'd he get three dogs? <laughs> Independent, playful, and friendly. That's good. That's good. Pixel's a good dog. Good, glutton, and active is Martina. Did we, have we met Cadence as well? I don't know that Vikram has met Cadence yet. I don't think John liked it very much that we enthused about the thrill of the steal. Don't worry, I'm not going to steal from family. <laughs> you guys don't even have anything worth stealing. I have cased the joint already. <laughs> yeah, stop trying to introduce, your people, introduce yourself to people that are inside. Go inside. And come introduce yourself to Cadence. Can we steal from the family? You think they'd notice if we, like, stole their grill? <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> Cadence is evil and erratic. <laughs> I'm so glad we came to meet her. Um, you know what though? Wasn't Martina also evil? No, she's good. So we've only met Pixel too. So we got to meet the other two dogs. Stop talking to your niece. And go meet your niece and nephew's dogs, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this is such a tiny kitchen. I would hate this kitchen in real life. It feels like you can't even, like, turn around in there, you know? Independent, adventurous, and friendly. Oh, That's a really good dog. Napoleon. Only evil people kidnap gnomes. <laughs> Hunter, a troublemaker, and aggressive. Oh. Well, Alric is not that great of a dog. Do they have a gnome that I can steal? This isn't this isn't the family that possibly stole from us. I actually don't know where um what is that? Alexia and Anahi. Yeah, Alexa, I think, is the kleptomaniac. She's an adult who's unemployed. They're both unemployed. <laughs> oh no. Well, we're already out and about with with Vikram. We may as well go steal something. Um while we're out and about. I wonder what we can steal at the land grab residence. I wonder if they have any gnomes. <laughs> it 
It's 3 a.m. I'm here to steal some stuff. Don't even worry about it, land grabs. <laughs> I'm here to steal a table or like a computer if I can. I don't, I don't even know what the limit to my stealing capabilities is right now. Um, but we'll find out. We're automatically invited in. It doesn't even look like we have to wait for anybody to come come let us in. Can we steal the paintings? No, not yet. Steal the house. <laughs> steal everything. Steal the p deed to the property. <laughs> Can I steal a computer just yet? No. So what is it? Just just lamps still. Frankly, that's kind of rude. I want to steal. Can I steal the easel? No. I can't even steal the cool lamp. <laughs> okay, so you know what that means. Is we have to work on our mischief skills. So who is down? on the bottom floor. Lorraine Landgrab. Hello. Hello, Lorraine. <laughs> Would you like to get farted on? Like, a lot, probably. Like, a couple of times within the next little bit. <laughs> um, nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, ah. It's all in the name of me stealing better stuff from you. So, so. So, so. We've learned that she's active, loves outdoors, and she's a genius. We love to see it. Let's ask her about her prized possessions. For a great thing, great thing to start off with. Um, then we'll ask her due date. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. And honestly, for him, that's not too far off because we are married to a criminal mastermind. Like, we are married to someone who is near the max level of the criminal career. <laughs> oh, he embarrassed, though. I forgot that you get embarrassed when you do mischief stuff, and Bianca just has a trait that means that she doesn't. <laughs> Come on, do a little more mischief. Oh, she broke my finger for that. <laughs> we can now Noxious Cloud. Perfect. That's considered a prank. It's Melody's birthday party today. So we are going to have to go home at some point soon and uh, age her up. But I want to see if I can steal anything better now that I'm level 5 mischief. <gasps> Come steal this painting. Come steal this painting right now. Stop talking to her. Come on. Go. Go steal. Porter is an elder with the cat ears. That's so funny. <laughs> Does that mean Jasper gonna have the elk cat ears until he dies? <laughs> Quick while they're all eating. Steal the painting! Beautiful. Mission accomplished, let's go home. <laughs> God, I love stealing. I don't know what it is. I could buy that, we have the money. There's just something about stealing it that's so much better. <laughs> hey, Panda, how you doing this afternoon? Welcome on in. You just missed us stealing from the land grabs. <laughs> 
nothing big has happened this stream so far. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Why buy when you can steal? <laughs> Items removed. One build mode item has been removed. What? What does that mean? <laughs> what? Oh, so that went to our, our household inventory? It did. Interesting. Oh, that's a huge ass painting. You know what, though? This place is starting to look good. Sooner rather than later, we're gonna have we're gonna have a pretty solid looking stash of stolen stuff. <laughs> Didn't sleep until seven a.m. Oh my goodness. The gnome. <laughs> maybe maybe the gnome. You know, hold on a minute. Let's check. Maybe. I don't know. What one item though? It's going to be like a toilet or something, you know? <laughs> something we need, and I'm just going to not notice for the first, like, while that we have it. A retirement fund, I wish. <laughs> In the U.S.? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's... be real. <laughs> ah, don't move the bookcase. Go back to live mode. The shelves in the living room. That honestly might be the case. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Maybe Blake's shelves. No, they're all there too. I don't know. This is strange. It is certainly strange. Strange even. Okay, go inside, you silly man. Why do you have a salty llama in your inventory? You should... Actually, is there still a cake in the fridge? Fully, fully, um, like, caked up. Oh, there is. There's still two full cakes in the fridge. <laughs> um... We'll put these ones back in. Vikram, come add birthday candles to this. Because apparently it is Melody's birthday today. Um, and she's got to age up soon. Jasper has just woken up and is fine. So he can, he can work out for a little bit. Blake... Is also fine. He can play piano for a little bit. Write a piano song. I don't think we can do that just yet. I think we have to be a higher level of piano. And then you, my good friend, are going to come here. And Bianca is going to take a shower because she stinks. She's stanky. So bo freeze bay. I can't believe Melody's gonna be a child already. It feels like we literally had her just yesterday. <laughs> Candles help with Vikram. Um, school in an hour, school in an hour. Everyone's feeling energized this morning. Bianca, can you hack your work performance again? That'd be great if you could.
can't do that just yet. Okay, make a mobile app then. <laughs> and we're gonna get a child! Our last child of Gen 4. Melody... What's her trait gonna be? She's erratic just like Bianca. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Multi-skill, that's new. What? Oh, that's so cute. Maybe she wants to be a creative genius. Let's see. Oh, she's kind of cute. I like her Ariel t-shirt. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me, at the very least. She was a top-notch infant, and she's got neutral confidence. Um... She wants to do sit-ups? I don't know about that. Oh, that's cool. Um, in that case, let's have her play- Oh, you know, it's kind of cold out. I don't know if that is the right move. She can go do her homework, I guess. Also, wait a minute. Did she- <gasps> She took the dinosaur off the shelves. Oh, no, that's no good. You know what? I'm going to have to redesign her room anyway. She's a child now. She's going to need a child's room. Actually, this is a child's room. I didn't design a toddler room for her. <laughs> really. Um, but that has to go back in there for now. Let's go into build mode for it. Cause that's, what, that's what I had to place myself. Which is the only reason I'm actually upset about it. <laughs> I decided to alt place it again. There we go. That's good. Okay, yeah. Go do your homework. You're gonna eat. That's fine. You can eat and then move the laundry to the dryer. Bianca's making her mobile app. Blake is playing piano for right now. That's fine. And Jasper's working out. Did you move the clothes to the dryer and then not start it? Okay, go dry the laundry, please. Jasper's room is a little different now. Yes, we redesigned his room when he became a teen. Um, because he needed workout gear and he needed a teen bed and all that. I actually really like this room. I think I, I think it came out really well. <laughs> I tried to keep some of the elements from his, his kid's room. Like he had the, the llama and the robot and everything. Hey, dog, how's it going this afternoon? And then, this is a moment that I'm kind of proud of. These are the same shelf, but I changed them up by shoving other books on top of the shelves so they look different. <laughs> I like that a little bit. Um, the clothes at the end of the bed and everything. I think it came out well. He's got a bit of a rabbit theme, because he's got rabbits every, every here and there. I like the red, too. I hadn't built much with red before, honestly. Which is why I kind of chose it. Chillin', we love to see it. That's what Sundays are for, frankly. You have class in four minutes. Okay, well you two should, um... Go to class. Now 
Melody doesn't go to school today, because that's fine, though. Because she just aged up. Vikram, you can finish eating, and then you gotta start being less gross. You gotta pee and shower. <laughs> and then let's, I think it's time we save and take a look at Melody and Cass. Because I kind of don't like her outfit, if that's if that's her everyday outfit. I kind of want to change that. <laughs> we don't change them too often. I do like to kind of keep what they, what they generally tend to age up with. But some of them age up with some pretty gross stuff. <laughs> okay. That's her sleep outfit. Oh, her everyday is kind of cute. I wonder, though, if that comes in a green or, like, a brown. Because that's... Her colors are going to be green and brown. Um, I guess it looked better with the jean. But, like, maybe we can change this to be a better green thing. Oh, you know, I like the plaid, but I don't think the pants fit it now. Uh... Well, now the fact that it's long sleeve feels weird. This is supposed to be her every day. Melody is going to be green and brown, mostly, because um, that's at least going to be the house, the color of her house. Mm -hmm. uh... Oh, you know, that's cute. And it's kind of subtle, because I feel like a lot of the time I go full on, like, it has to be all green, like green morph suit green. <laughs> So this is just like, you know, she's got a little bit of green in there. She's got some style on top of it. It's green and it's tan. I think that'll work. And look at that. She's already she's already on the wavelength with her formal wear. <laughs> That's a gross outfit, but it's it's suiting, so we'll keep it. Change that to green. Probably all good on that, frankly. I don't like whatever this is. Yeah, you know what? Let's give her a styled look for her sleep. Because I kind of don't like this one. <laughs> oh, I like that. No glasses, though. Glasses was Bianca's thing. We can't have them two generations in a row. This is her party wear. This doesn't feel very party. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go for some just like yeah, jeans and a jeans and a sweatshirt seems fine. Flip flops or whatever, I guess. I didn't even think about the shoes for all of these. I always forget about shoes. That one suits it better. That's fine. That's fine. And maybe if these were green. If we have a nice green. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Swimwear, I think we can get rid of the sunglasses. Because I don't think she'd need the sunglasses or the hat um, to go swimming, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> I think she's good on that. 
Again, we'll see if we can change it to a nice green instead. Again, with the hat, I don't think she needs it. She has all that nice, luscious hair. We gotta show that to the world. Look at that. For most of these, she was already on the green wavelength. She's cute, though. I like her hair. I think she'll age up to be cuter. And it's very cute that she has the same trait that uh, Bianca has. Even though Erratic has kind of not been fun to deal with. <laughs> Talking to herself all the time. Flirting with... Wanting to flirt with herself in the mirror. Like... <laughs> a bit, a bit of some strange things to ne want to do. But... Whatever. They're easy to do, I guess. <laughs> And then we kind of got to change her room a little bit, too, because she's a child, not a toddler. What is she doing? Reacting to first snow and then going to go do her homework, I guess. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> Bianca's working on her app. She can probably go to the bathroom once Vikram's done. Why is everyone feeling so energized today? Vikram doesn't work today. He wants to be in a well-decorated area or make a baby with Bian Bianca, but I don't think either of those are going to happen. Um, so he will come start the laundry again. Bianca also does not go to work today. I feel like both Sims are pretty lucky in having... Um, Frankly, not many things to do work week wise. A fire? No, Vikram. <laughs> Don't catch on fire, please. Extinguish self. And and the fire, please. Okay. Clean with bigger. I knew I should have cleaned the lint tray. I knew it. Alright, Vikram. I'm so sorry. Go take a bath. You can like fitness, sure, I guess. She's not having fun, though, Melody. What, are you, what do we want to have her do for fun? Drop and roll. <laughs> no, we just all apparently have... Um, fire extinguishers on us at all times, don't you know? Don't you have one, Nico? <laughs> Just on your persons at all times? I know I do. Bianca, you can come work on your app again, if you would like. Jasper had two different tests. Uh-oh. Study both. We got a performance game. Nice. I sort of don't know what career she's going to go into. I'm thinking music because her name is Melody, but Blake is going into music for sure. Like, he's been playing piano since he was a child. So I don't, I don't really know. Maybe she'll just do music on the side and she'll do something else. Because she's erratic is the only thing we know about her so far. Um, and she likes fitness. <laughs> That's it. That's all we know. 
forgot about yours. <laughs> you gotta keep it on you, Nico. You never know when you're gonna need it. Winterfest starts tomorrow. Cool. We got paid from Bianca's stuff. Vikram's done taking his bath. He doesn't even have a mood lit for the fact that he was on fire. Oh yeah, he does. But not a terrible one. But he does have a fear of fire, which we are going to take care of. We can't have my boy be afraid of fire. Have a nice stiff drink to forget about that. Right, media influencer. We were thinking about having her do that. Oh, right, the maid is here now. <laughs> Yasmin Al-Habib, who we hired yesterday. What's she going to do for us? Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's cold. We're we're good on a thermostat. I wonder how long she stays here for. She wants to talk to herself and level up in the violin skill. Well, the good news is we are probably going to do both. Is the maid going to do laundry for us? That's nice. Vikram's going to go work out. Vikram, you don't even like working out. What are you doing? No, stop. You can, um... What do we want to have Vikram do? <laughs> You know what, he actually should practice his mischief skill, so while he's upstairs, he can troll the Teforums. Because that's how we steal better stuff. That's how, like, we're able to steal TBs and stuff in the future. Which I am interested in. What's the maid up to? She's mopping in the bathroom. Good. I honestly think this was good money. Did Raul get promoted? Raul's been dead for a hot minute now. <laughs> Did Vikram get promoted? Um, he's He's one away from completing his thing. What are you cleaning now? Are you putting away the toys? Ugh. I wish you wouldn't. I swear to God, if you put these toys away, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Vikram, yeah, Raul's still on the mind. It's hard to forget him, frankly. She's gonna put all these toys away, and I'm gonna have to open them and and take them back out and put them back down. <laughs> Decorated still. <laughs> what is Vikram doing? He's gonna listen to her performance. She's getting hungry though, so she should come get leftovers. Once she levels up though, I think she can wait just that long. And you can come get leftovers now. Can we tell the maid to leave at any time? Yeah. I think we can tell her to leave before she puts away toys that don't need to be put away. <laughs> Everyone should have a maid. I 
I would have her go play in the in the treehouse, but that feels cruel right now. Um, it is a little blustery out for that. Oh right, she's not even leveling up the violin skill right now because she doesn't have the violin skill because she's a child. I sort of forget about that. <laughs> We dismissed her, and now she's just walking out into the cold. Is she gonna die? <laughs> Is she gonna be okay? Where's she going? <laughs> no way she's walking to the front yard through this. Oh. Um, maybe you should have stayed over? <laughs> yes, me and... <laughs> yes, me. Don't die. <laughs> oh, no. She, like, can't move. She might actually die <laughs> in this blizzard. I don't even want to pay attention to the rest of the family. She's gonna die. <laughs> this is my fault. I dismissed her. I should have let her stay over. <laughs> I should have let her stay for the night. Wait, who's this? <laughs> who's this sprinting away top speed, Sarah Fields? <laughs> Just on a jog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she doesn't have a coat. She's freezing. She's gonna freeze to death, I'm pretty sure. And I don't even know if we actually got to know her, so I don't think we actually can follow her if we don't, like, pay attention to her right now. Alexa's calling. Your date went well, congrats. Yeah, who cares what's happening with the gay family? I need to know if Yasmin lives through this blizzard. <laughs> there goes the lady running again. Where is she going? Where is she headed to? Does she live over here? No. Not a difficult dynamic, thank you very much. What's happening back at the house? <laughs> You are tired. Well, you know what? I do have to give you a child's bed instead of a toddler bed. We'll never get to find out what happens with Yasmin. I don't want the bunk bed, though, and I don't want the teen bed. I want a child bed, but I want it to be not gross colors. Oh, actually, is this a child bed? Yes. But there's not really any green. There's not even, like, anything close. You know what? That looks good enough. She may or may not return. I only hired her as a one-time maid, though, so I don't think she's going to come back. <laughs> Unless I hire a maid again. But I don't know if I need to do such a thing. Okay, so you can come go to sleep. It's 2 a.m. It's 2.30 p.m. That's fine. You aren't doing much of anything, but you do work in two days. Oh my god. Okay. Um, right, we can't do anything for you because you want to do stupid things. <laughs> 
and you are hungry, so yeah, you should come get some leftovers. You know, at the very least, the maid did do laundry. But she didn't seem to um, finish doing it because the... Or our laundry burned up. What's happening here? A pops go for a maid. I wonder if we can even find her still. Because she left out this way. And she came over, like, up here. I don't know. Is that her? No, that's Juliana Scott. Why are there so many people out in this blizzard? <laughs> Why would you be out right now? Unless you were just kicked out of my house. Like... <laughs> Hi there, King for Githo. How you doing this afternoon? I apologize if I butchered your name. <laughs> School's done. Okay, you two should get inside now then, because we don't want you freezing to death like our poor maid. <laughs> um, cat beans. Gotta have the cat beans. As you can see, we're big cat boy fanatics here. <laughs> Everybody come get leftovers. I'm also doing pretty good. I'm enjoying having nothing to do today. Um, <laughs> Cause sometimes Sundays aren't like that. But it is nice to have no responsibilities, really, today. I think I'm going to go to the gym later, but other than that, I'm not doing much today at all. I need a weekend. <laughs> and I didn't really do much yesterday, so we're keeping the theme going. Did she not clean out the leftovers in the fridge? Why is the fridge still stinky? And why didn't Blake come get food? Because Jasper was heading to the fridge. You know what? Blake, come eat the ham dinner that's on the kitchen really? counter. <laughs> She wants to make an enemy and chat with Connor, both of which are kind of hard to do for you, Bianca. Ugh. I do kind of want to check real quick. Um, I thought so. We're gonna we're gonna check off a couple of these. Just so that we can go um, Public enemy was the one we were on. Yeah. Just because I want her to get this this trait, the never weary. She never needs to sleep. Thank God. We got to get all of the errors that, probably. Just so we have a little more time with them. She wants to chat with Jasper. Blake, where are you going? Why why do why would you choose to eat outside in a blizzard? Why is the fridge or why is the Why is the grill stinky? Can you throw away the grill? What's this? I am confusion. <laughs> um, Vikram, when you're done, you can come practice being a DJ. B 
Bianca, you can go... Oh, that's why you're not working on that. Because you broke the computer. Make a mobile app. Blake, you can go to the bathroom and then go to bed. Because for whatever reason, you are tired as shit. And Jasper... You can come exercise, I guess. Do an energized workout. And then I think you can wake up and start playing violin for a little bit. The ghost of the maid, yeah. <laughs> she died and now she's making everybody have terrible needs. It wouldn't surprise me. She looked like she was having a tough time in that blizzard. <laughs> being haunted it wouldn't be the first time remember when kelly came through and she was just wrecking the house <laughs> okay we did have stinky stuff on the grill okay that's why everyone's energized because it's uh winterfest tomorrow You just gave me ten dollars. From what? <laughs> Hard to say. I wonder if there's more neighborhood stories. Yes, give them to me. I need to find out if my brother adopted any more dogs. Mia Goth died. Kazuya Naka Nakayama died. Room goes cold when they appear. It's all jobless mates. <laughs> the gay house adopted another dog. Just meet her and a runner expecting a baby. The Rubles Rano household moved out. Melody reached violin level two. I didn't know she could reach violin levels now. That's cool. He's getting a little stinky. You should come take a shower. Take a brisk shower. She's busy playing the paint that. He's going to bed. She's making that app, and he's DJing. Perfect. Although, honestly, Vikram, you can go to sleep too. Pink cat! Oh, I love it. <laughs> pink is one of the best colors, and cats are definitely the best animal. So, pink cat, absolutely. Send it my way. <laughs> Um, someone should come pay attention to Fabo, it seems. I don't know what's wrong with Fabo, but I would assume that he needs to go to the bathroom. John is calling to chat, sure. Probably telling us about how he got another fucking dog. <laughs> what are you- why didn't you take a shower? Just a good burp. Nice. Okay, and then continue continue your workout. You're making that app. That's fine. Are you paying attention to Fabo? It did not tell me what was wrong with Fabo. 
Why are you running, Cozy? <laughs> Just doing laps through chat. What's wrong, Fabo? <sighs> Why are you upset? Oh, Cadence is here. Hi, Cadence. Go potty then, Fabo. I thought you just went Pabo. <laughs> Cats in your house also get upset when it's bad weather. Okay, so maybe that's just a thing. Maybe they don't want to go outside and go to the bathroom. That would that checks out with real dogs. <laughs> he'll be stop, he'll be happy when the snow stops. I hope so. Poor Melody having to take care of all of this because no one else is t doing it. <laughs> We can hang out with Cadence for a little bit, though. We can get to know our cousin. Hire another maid, see if she comes back. <laughs> Maybe. Cadence is kind of cool. She's got them shades on. Hannah's spirit is fading away. I don't even know who Hannah is. Oh, thanks for following King Fer King Fergie, though. I don't know why that was so hard for me earlier. King Fergie, though. <laughs> okay, so the dogs are just having fun outside. Well, that's whatever. You know what, Melody? It is time for you to go to bed. It's like 9 o'clock. You can actually get some sleep. Maybe we should send Cadence home. I'm so sorry. I know you just got here, Cadence. <laughs> Bye. She's going to bed. I know all about erratic sims, okay? I've had Bianca the erratic sim for forever. <laughs> I need... oh. I guess we have pushed the limits while energized. I didn't think we had done that just yet. We just gotta get the fitness skill to level 4. He wants to plant something from Loving Outdoors? That's an interesting one. I didn't take Jasper to be, like, the, the gardening type, but... Maybe he can take care of the plants instead of Ikram. It's winter. It's like dead winter. We don't really have to take care of any plants right now, but... <laughs> you know, we'll get there eventually, in the spring. If Jasper's still around at that point. Which he will be. Twenty. He, yeah, he's, a, he's not a young adult for 20 more days. Blake's got two weeks. He leveled up. Now we just gotta buy him a piece of workout equipment again. We'll buy him a punching bag, why not? And that will complete that. Perfect. Oh my god, spend 10 hours exercising? That's crazy. You can actually go to bed now. <laughs> and then Bianca's the only one awake. We're back to that gonna be the, um, the, the regular 
of everybody's asleep except Bianca. Just the same way it was when everyone was asleep except Connor. <laughs> except it's Bianca now, who's in charge of the household. Jasper is a cat boy panda. We did not choose that for him. He chose that life himself. Um, <laughs> and uh, King Fergie, a uh, legacy challenge is trying to make it through 10 generations of the same family. Um, so like Kelly was our first Sim and then we had Kelly had a kid and that's Connor. That's Gen 2. Uh, then Connor had a kid and that's Bianca. So that's Gen 3, and now Bianca is having kids. Melody is our next heir. She's Gen 4. So we're trying to make it through 10 generations of the same family. Um, it's not really a challenge so much to say as it is just a time investment, but <laughs> it's been really fun. I love this family. Um, and I'm excited to see what, what uh, Melody here brings. Although the fear of the dark thing is getting old in, in the kids of this generation. <laughs> Unsuccessful in befriending the monster. We'll try again, girl. Unsuccessful yet again. Try one more time. Third time's the charm, they say. Okay, fourth time's the charm. Never not be scared by the dark. See, in real life, I feel like it makes sense. In the game, it's just like, why? You're in a well-lit bedroom the entire time. What do you mean you're afraid of the dark? <laughs> In real life, there's reasons to be afraid of not being able to see, you know? Unsuccessful still. Fine. Bianca, come spray the monster. <laughs> My laundry is, I think, broken. I think I gotta get a new dryer again. We'll just do that real quick. Because I think the maid broke ours. <laughs> and I don't want broken laundry. Spray the monster. Do not go wake up. Oh, you already woke up, Vikram. God damn it. <laughs> well, I'm instead going to have her give herself a uh, pep talk in the mirror then. And Vikram is going to not go train because he hates fitness i don't know why he keeps trying to do fitness things when it's like something he dislikes <laughs> yes. blake's awake even though it's the middle of the night as well he's gonna go back to sleep i'm not dealing with more sims right now <laughs> go back to sleep she's gonna be confident and go outside so she gets rid of her fear of the dark right away Bianca is going to not watch Melody, actually, because that's kind of weird. You're going to go make your mobile app. And Vikram is going to finish peeing. Lock the door for each of their rooms apart from themselves. Maybe. But I feel like I want them to be able to go other places. It's just silly that Vikram just keeps trying to exercise despite it being something he dislikes. <laughs> you can come do laundry when you're all done. And she's still terrified. That didn't get rid of her fear of the dark. She had high confidence. I hate this. Come psych yourself up.
Trying to get rid of that dad bod. <laughs> he does have some solid dad bod. I still think Vikram's cute, though. Hmm. Oh my god, Bianca's gonna be an adult in four days. Not a young adult anymore, like an adult adult. <laughs> Okay, quick while you're still confident, come outside. Wash the laundry. I think it's just because he's energized. And she's not confident anymore. Okay, so we just can't keep that confidence for very long. That's stupid. Well, come get food and then go to bed. You, Vikram, can, um... Watch a culinary performance video. No, you know what? You can come troll the Tef forums. Because you didn't get to do that for very long last time. And she's busy making a ramp. We'd love to see it. I don't think I would turn autonomy off, just because I feel like it lowers the possibility of fun things happening, you know? Like, sometimes it's annoying that they go and do their own thing, and sometimes it's nice to have, like, things that I didn't decide for them happening, you know? I don't think there'd be any fun in turning off autonomy. He wants to cook a meal? We can probably do that for you. Bianca wants to make an enemy. Who could we call over and have... And who could we be mean to, you know? It is also more work doing everything. Um, but it is also, I feel like, harder in that case. There is supposed to be a bit of a challenge making it through ten generations, you know? <laughs> okay, go to bed with your like 17 gajillion moodlets that you have. Vikram don't do that. Don't work out. Clean out the spoiled food. And then come cook a meal. I can't wait for Vikram to finish his aspiration. Because this is such a sick reward trait. Always makes the highest quality food and it never spoils. Vikram is going to cook for, the, for generations for this family. There's going to be so much food in the bridge. All Vikram is ever going to do is cook. <laughs> We're going to make sure that people can eat in this family until Gen 10. Oh. The world looks cool when it's snowy like this. It's like blue outside. The birds left the pond. There's no swan or anything. Chase away frogs, yeah. Because there's so many there right now. <laughs> Blake, why are you awake again? You know what, it's 3am, that's fine for you actually. Come get some food. 
and then you can move the laundry to the dryer. Cook and DJ, that's all he does. <laughs> Sometimes it does feel like that's all I have my sims do, is I have like their, their work and their hobby, and that's all they do. <laughs> But then I remember that I also just like went out stealing with with Vikram earlier and I had Bianca go be mean to people. Like we go and do other things, but sometimes it feels like it's just program and then when you're done programming you can go to work and you cook and when you're done cooking it's time to DJ. <laughs> Jasper's awake now. He's going to go pee. Our talking toilet that I kind of constantly forget about. <laughs> Vikram finished cooking. That's good. Um... Now he wants to cook a gourmet meal. <laughs> um, no, you know what? You can you can come DJ now. And Jasper is okay. I think we're all good. Everybody's gonna go do what they gotta do. I love this stolen ATM that we have here. You get some fun things from the criminal career. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Bars of gold, a bag of stolen cash, a stolen ATM. Pretty good uh, decorations for the house. You can come take a shower, or a bath, I guess, and then play some piano. Some piano. Jasper's going to grab some food. Crime does pay. It really does. I wonder if you could survive just pickpocketing people. I've been watching a lot of rags to riches challenges, um... And I've been thinking of any that I could possibly do myself, and I was just thinking maybe you could pickpocket people enough to to live, but I don't know. Because you'd have to be in the criminal career, which means you would have to maybe like miss work or something to have it not be a rags to riches. <laughs> you probably could. Maybe. Oh, you haven't done your homework yet. Go do your homework. You can come use the toilet when you wake up. And Blake's gonna go play piano. That's perfect. Has everybody else done their homework? You haven't started yours either, okay. Organized crime incoming. <laughs> no, you you can't pickpocket being a kleptomaniac, unfortunately. But I did also think maybe just being a kleptomaniac and then seeing how much we could we could steal and sell and um, living off of that, like who needs a job? You could just go steal whenever we could. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be able to do that with this family, is the thing. I would have to, you know, go start a new save file where we just steal to make, make money. <laughs> the Butter Game Mafia. Okay, you should wake up and go to the bathroom and then finish your homework. You should, now that your fun is up a little bit, do your homework as well. And you're finishing your homework, okay. 
I don't know um, when it counts as ended for a rags to riches. I feel like once you feel like you've made enough money that you can, like, live solidly. I've never done a rags to riches, so I don't know when I would, like, call it or when I would play till. But I would imagine for me it would be whenever the stream ends, whenever I feel like I've done enough. Because <laughs> I think that would more probably be more of, like, a, like a one-and-done sort of thing. I don't know if I would play multiple days trying to rags to riches. Um, I don't know, though. Like I said, I've never done one, so I don't know how they work. <laughs> I did sort of forget it's Winterfest. Um, I think I am. Gray Man, Raiden with a party of six, welcome on in. How you doing? How was your stream? Let me get you a shout out and let me um, actually type your name correctly. Because I am bad about that sometimes. <laughs> Playing some Bennett Foddy. No. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy. <laughs> it's a hell of a title. Welcome on in, everybody. I appreciate the raid. I appreciate the lurking. Made you end your stream by punishment wheel. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for following, Vin's Gamer. I appreciate it. I've never heard of that game. It told you to end the stream. It's like one of those types of games where it's like aware that you're of what you're doing. <laughs> That's silly. It might be a holiday, but I think I'm still having Bianca go to work today because we only work twice a week. And I need her to get that promotion before she like ages up. <laughs> a punishment wheel where you can redeem channel points. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I've seen that sort of thing before. That's silly. I don't think I could ever have a um, end stream sort of reward because what if I'm like having a great time and then someone's just like, "No, you're not end stream." <laughs> like, I wouldn't be able to come back from that. We're gonna decorate for the holiday. Um, I guess. Is there not? No, holidays. That's what it is. No results found in decorations. Okay. That's it. Those are not... Those aren't even holiday. Events, maybe? Yeah, what? Special, not birthday, content? No. Packs? I guess one of them is the, um, I guess it would be Seasons. I am playing Sims 4, yes. Sims is going great. Nothing, nothing standout has happened so far. Um, we did a little stealing. Uh, Melody aged up, she's a child now. Nothing, nothing big so far, though. Um, but yes, this is The Sims 4. I guess it would be Seasons that I'm looking for. Seasons, and I think there's like a... Yeah, Holiday in the kits. Okay. And then we'll show... Decorations now? No. Where would it be? Would it be a plant? There it is. Our maid, right, our maid died in the snow. <laughs> I'll put a place for her at our family graveyard if we ever find her grave. Um, we could put a Christmas tree in the corner over here for right now. Or I guess maybe, maybe right here. I think that's a good place for the tree. Um, and then do we have, like, presents or anything? Large pile of presents. Perfect. And we can put a snowman out in the, in the yard. I think that's cute. It is that time of year. 
some reindeer as well. There we go, we're all decorated. Hey, Twisted, how's it going? Oh, so we invited a maid over, or we, we asked her to come over and paid her and everything. And then we told her we could she could leave. Um, little did I know it was the middle of a blizzard and she didn't have a coat. So she just walked out the back door, strolled right on through our fence, and just walked off into the distance. <laughs> we, we followed her for as long as we could. Um... But somewhere around here, she had, like, slipped and fallen a couple of times, and we never saw her again. <laughs> so she might not be dead. She could be somewhere, I guess. But we don't... I, I'm assuming she's dead. <laughs> Sad your sub ran out. I'm sorry to hear it twisted. This is family friendly. She didn't die on camera. <laughs> she just died near camera. <laughs> she put a couple of toys away I was mad at her, I sent her home and she died It's fine <laughs> Family friendly <laughs> I'm not a murderer I'm a murderer in The Sims Which is better <laughs> Which is slightly better <laughs> I think we're going to have everyone come um, Open presents together I think the kids are honestly still going to go to school today. But that's, you know, a cream egg stealer. <laughs> Listen, I didn't kill her. It's just the consequences of my actions that killed her. <laughs> They're not the same thing. <laughs> they are very close to the same thing, but they are not the same thing. <laughs> I didn't realize that she wasn't going to put on a coat or, like, get a ride home in the middle of a blizzard. <laughs> we got two robot vacuums. Okay. What did Bianca get? The Incendiator by Grill Mania. <laughs> 13 viewers, I know. A big day here in, in, in Buttertopia. Cream eggs are really good. Another philosophical question is the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> Direct murder? I don't know. I don't think even scientists know the answer to that one. Um, <laughs> Melody got some nesting blocks. That's cool. These two haven't finished their homework to come get presents yet, so let's check out. We got the tiny teacher nesting blocks. That's kind of cute. We can put those down over here, even though I don't think she plays with toys anymore. Yeah, she can't even play with those. Um, Bianca got a grill. The grill that we already own, mind you. The same exact one. Just put it on top of the other grill. <laughs> no one will even know. <laughs> Whomst would know that we have two grills. <laughs> no. We can sell this one. That's fine. And Raul got two cleaning vacuums? I don't even have the dust the bus the dust kit. The dust the bus kit. We got little Roombas. One for each floor. Did I say Raul? <laughs> Vikram. Whoever's the husband of whatever generation, he's just named Raul. <laughs> just two grills, you know? Grilling around. <laughs> I'm all serious question is philosophy because they didn't want to worry about morals anymore. <laughs> the scientists were like, we're not going to question someone who murdered somebody recently. It's not, you know, if he thinks it's ethical, it's ethical. <laughs> That's how they feel. So we can, we can, oh my god, rename our robot vacuum? We have new members of the family, everybody. What are we naming these robot vacuums? <laughs> this one's got to be Mr. Clean. I mean, 
And of course, we give him the last name as well because he lives with us, Mr. Clean Gay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I moved my mic a little bit. Um, and then what are we naming the other one? This is the best thing ever. I didn't realize you could name our cleaning vacuums. Best get best Christmas present I could have ever received. <laughs> What sort of names we got? I actually think while you guys are thinking of that, I will be right back because I'm going to go get myself a drink. So give me Mrs. Clean. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, give me two seconds, though. I'm going to go give myself a drink and I will be right back. Um, Okay. Yes, the Be Right Back screen. It's funny because when I first, when I first switch over to the Be Right Back screen, it shows. That's the wrong one. Oh, I guess it doesn't. It did the first time there when I did it. It shows the other one because I didn't get rid of the um, <laughs> my Be Right Back screen, which is just a solid thing before. I just put this over it, so it shows that one for like a second before it it shows that one. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I think Mrs. Mrs. Clean Gay is what we have to go with. There was no other option in chat, so. <laughs> Mrs. Clean Gay. Beautiful. Um, I do think I'm probably going to end soon. Um. Only because it is beautiful out, I realized, when I left my room and saw the, the sun for the first time today. Um, and knitting an octopus, that sounds fun. I've always wanted to know to, how to knit or crochet or something like that. Um, and I just never have. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to... I'll put these back on because I did get hit with the cat boy laser earlier. Um... I just want to go to the gym, I think, and spend some time outside, because it is super nice out right now. Um, but we have two more gifts to get. And maybe we'll chill for another little bit. <laughs> Roll a wheel to end the stream. <laughs> we got life under a microscope. And we got nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. <laughs> Poor Jasper! Oh my god! <laughs> it's, um, 12.13 for me, Doc. So it's it's starting to be, like, nice out in the middle of the day. So it seems like it's going to be, like, a, a really nice day outside. Um, I would like to spend at least a little bit of it out there. <laughs> Poor Jasper, I know. Sadness and lies. Even the family is hating on the cat, on the cat boy. Can we sneak a present? Jasper deserves a second one. Listen to music. No worries, Twisted. Have a lovely, lovely afternoon. Thank you for hanging. Oh! He got a stunt model airplane now. That's nice. A username change. Ooh, could do. <laughs> okay, so what did Blake get again? I guess they both went to the the household inventory. Oh, he, Blake got a microscope, like a full on, <laughs> like a 
like a full-on science tool that we can't use. God, that's bigger than we have space for, honestly. Yeah, I don't even think we can fit this in the house. <laughs> you know what? We'll hold on to it, though. He got it for Christmas, so why not? And Jasper got a toy plane that we can put somewhere in his room. There we go. We can put it on his desk. That's cute. The name you said yesterday? I don't remember you saying a name yesterday. I'm not going to lie. I know, we, we don't have room in this gigantic-ass house. I mean, we have room in, like, over in here that we could put it. Like, I could put it in the center of, of Jasper's room. Um, and I could maybe put it out in the hallway over here if I, like, moved some stuff around. But I, don't, I just don't want to shift stuff around for a thing that, like, nobody asked for in this family. You know what I mean? <laughs> no one in this family is a scientist. I don't think we need the, the microscope to be out and about. <laughs> It might be a death ray. We could put it on the balcony. You do have a point. We could put it down at the very least. Just like that. Beautiful. Um, so that's a pretty successful beginning to Christmas. We haven't even like begun to be in Christmas fully. So we'd have a, we gotta have a grand meal. But everyone's about to go to school, so we'll just let that happen, I think. Because frankly, I don't want to deal with them all day, so I'm sending them to school. Wow. Bianca's busy smelling her food. Smelling her caprice salad. <laughs> No, you can come dry the laundry. And Vikram, what are you doing? <laughs> Chatting with the kids. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> you can instead practice some mad DJ skills. <laughs> Why aren't the kids going to school? She's a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Oh, noise. Bro, yabba. Stop play. chatting with each other. Go to school. <laughs> takes fucking seven hours to go down the stairs from this house. <laughs> I can't wait to build a new house. Like, it's not that I hate this house, but there's going to be so many more things that I think about in the next house, like how long it takes to walk across and all of that. <laughs> Where's Bianca going? Bianca, what are you doing? She's just chilling outside for whatever reason. <laughs> Bianca's off to school, I guess so. <laughs> she wants to make an enemy. If there's anybody out and about right now, we can go be mean to somebody, I think. I don't see anybody, though. Nah, nobody out and about. So, Bianca, would you like to invite somebody over, maybe? Are we still, um, enemies with Martina? Can we invite Martina over? An elevator? I did think about that, honestly. 
I thought about making a tree house um, and having an elevator go up to it, but I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> Martina would rather not come. <laughs> Um, oh, Lindsay died. Oh, that's sad. Lindsay used to live out front of our house and sell food. Ghost cat. We have a lot of ghosts in our, in our knowing. <laughs> Miss Kitty, who died recently, and then Dilbert, who died recently. Ha Haley was our enemy, and she died. I remember that. Connor and Raul are my dad's. Isaac, would you like to come over? I would like to be mean to somebody right now. Isaac would rather not come. <laughs> Paula, would you like to come hang out? Poor Bianca. <laughs> Paula would rather not come. <laughs> uh, John's telling us about the dog that he adopted. I, did you adopt a fourth dog, John? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's let's bring Vikram with us. Because um, I think uh, it's nice to have these two go somewhere right now. Um, John, did you get a fourth dog? Because this isn't what this is not what I enabled neighborhood stories for you for. <laughs> I wanted more members of the family, not more dogs. <laughs> Items removed again. I wonder why they keep telling me that. Okay. Bubbles Bubbles is definitely a new dog. <laughs> oh my god. They have at least four dogs now. Maybe five dogs. Alric was old. We already knew Alric. Alric and Napoleon. And Pixel. Wait a minute. Okay, no, that's still that's still cadences. I thought they had another baby as well. <laughs> How many family members do we even have now? I wonder, let's take a look, hold on. Our family tree is a little ridiculous now. If we, if we click on Kelly, we can really see just how far down the lineage has come. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny house, and there's four dogs. I know. They don't even have, like, a... They have a teensy, tiny backyard with nowhere for dogs to poop. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe we need to renovate John's house, because... Not only that, they have two big dogs and two small dogs <laughs> in this teensy, tiny house. <laughs> Ask to join household. I don't know about that. Um, compliment his outfit. Tell a dramatic story. Is this a dog? That's a cat. That is a cat. <laughs> Wait a minute. They have three dogs and a cat. <gasps> Martina and John are expecting a baby. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm checking the neighborhood stories. Like Jasper live in the next house. They're going to move out like John. Um, but I haven't decided exactly when that's going to happen. Because for John, we moved him out right away. Like he became a young adult. We aged Martina up into a young adult. And then we moved him out. It was like that same day. Um, 
I don't know if we're going to do the same thing for Blake and Jasper. Um, Blake, I think, is going to get married to Sophia, his his girlfriend. Um, but I don't know if I'll have him move out right away. And I don't know if I'll have him, like, they'll then live together straight off the bat. Um, and then Jasper, I think we're probably going to... Um, wait until he's like a young adult to find him somebody to love um and then like move him out from there <laughs> um so we'll probably have jasper around for a little while but i don't know i haven't i haven't fully figured it out yet you know there's a lot of th things to consider when you have this many sims and i just don't <laughs> Wait, you should definitely, yeah, you should meet Bubbles. Aloof, playful, and mischievous. Oh, I love Bubbles. You know, Bianca, maybe you should try to make up to Martina after all these years. It has been quite the long time since um, you have really been enemies. <laughs> another child, too. Another cat boy. There is another cat boy, but he's an elder right now. I don't think he'll live long enough for, for Jasper to... <laughs> <laughs> to befriend him and marry him and everything. No, maybe we'll definitely design John a new house or move him out or something. Um, cause yeah, this is kind of small for, for another child. That's great though. That's another kid that we didn't have to worry about, like taking care of in the family. The family is gonna be so big. <laughs> We kind of got to make sure um, that we pay attention to who the kids are in the family. Um, because I don't want anyone to eventually date someone who is part of my family. You know what I mean? Disgusting. Yeah, truly. <laughs> um, actually, do you guys have cameras on you? You should take a photo, Bikram. Because I don't think we have a single photo of Cadence. That's not going to be a great photo of Cadence. <laughs> this is honestly a good photo of John and, and Bianca, though, which is our two Gen 2 Sims. Gen 3. They were Gen 3. There we go. Why are you scared of the dark now? It's 11 a.m. <laughs> um, I guess you can also, just so we have a picture of her, take a photo of Candace. A cadence. Because I don't think we have any pictures of her. And I want at least one. <laughs> and then I think we've done our, our siblinging for the day. We can go home now. It's Winterfest. We've hung out with our family enough. We can go home. <laughs> um, let's go. Oh, I didn't know that it shows all the worlds now, even if you don't have them. That's kind of cute. Back to Henford on Bagley, though. Back to our house. 
we can't bring any of the pets with us. <laughs> any of the gajillion pets that John has. Wait. John's going to have a full household. He's got three dogs, a cat, a daughter, a wife, himself, and a new baby on the way. That's going to be a full household. That's funny that both Bianca and John had that this this generation. That's not a great sound, but I think that's just, yeah, him being scared still. We're all good. Why are you uncomfortable? What's, what's smelly around here? Weird. Um, let's see, you don't work today, but Bianca does. We didn't make an enemy, whoops. <laughs> That's the whole point of me leaving the house today. Uh, it's fine. He wants to cook a gourmet meal. But that's not a grand meal. Let's make a ham dinner. Whose homework is this? I bet I think that's Jasper's homework. <laughs> Technically, you're late, Theo, but I don't ever count attendance, so you're fine. Welcome on in. How you doing this afternoon? I am probably going to end soon. I think I'm going to make it to the end of this day. Um, but then I got to go to the gym and didn't take care of myself and have like lunch and stuff. So I, I, I am going to eventually end. <laughs> penis. <laughs> no playing the penis game in my chat. What are you doing, girl? Talking with friends. Okay. Strange. Strange of you. Would you like to? Can you hack your work performance, actually? You can. Come do it, girl. Yeah, Theo's always been a mod. <laughs> Theo's actually my only mod. Oh, we just have homework laying around all over the fucking place. And plates. Nobody can ever put their, put their plate away. God damn it. <laughs> Is he bored? Uninspiringly decorated. I hate you, Vikram. Calling my house uninspiringly decorated. <laughs> I'll feed you to a cow plant. Don't, don't test me. <laughs> the best mod. Yes, Raul died a couple of days ago now. Raul died when um, Melody would like had just turned into a toddler. I think she's a child now, <laughs> but she turned into a child this stream, so you haven't missed that much. Alexa's calling. Yeah, have some friends. That's fine. Gonna go cry now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, he is in his resting spot next to Connor, finally. Um, they have a very nice, prominent spot in the family graveyard. It looks great. <laughs> He's not immortal. 
um he did pass away he had a nice family breakfast with the entire family except bianca because she was at work still um before he passed away it was like a it was a good way to go out you know <laughs> he wasn't in the middle of like going to the bathroom or anything like <laughs> he had a a good time on his way out Cashew's dirty again for the second time this stream. <laughs> yeah, Bianca had to come home and f realize that um, her dad was gone. Her second dad was dead, uh, which was not great. <laughs> but she got a promotion that day. That was that was good at the very least. <laughs> the Sims really makes you say some strange sentences while making grilled cheese. That's the worst. <laughs> Bianca, please finish hacking before he calls you to a grand meal. I want you to get your work performance up. <laughs> Spent some time before relaying as he was a dog. Yeah, that's Fabo. Fabo is kind of dressed like a child, and Melody, when she was a toddler, did have a matching outfit with Fabo. Um, but Fabo is, yes, a dog. <laughs> We don't just let our children sleep on the floor here. <laughs> Ooh, <Beauvais. laughs> Melody's done with school. Jasper got a B, and Blake is an A. Oh shit, and everybody's hungry. He wants to rummage in the trash? Blake, you're kind of gross. <gasps> He's too tense to play piano? Too tense to play piano? Fine, he can play some video games for a second. Jasper. He likes fitness, right? He can go work out, I guess. And you can take a shower and go to bed, I guess. Merry Winterfest, everybody. <laughs> the fish yawn, not the fish yawn. <laughs> Uh, yibs. <laughs> Poor Vikram. He made this grand meal and he called everybody to it and nobody came. <laughs> Bianca was too busy hacking her work performance. Kids were still at school. Ah, oh, and she got caught hacking the work performance. Ah, uh, so it went back down. Bianca. Bianca! <laughs> Aren't you a level 10 hacker? How? How do you suck so bad? <laughs> Why not a fountain inside? Fully, it is because I had too much room in this house. <laughs> what else am I going to do with that space? <laughs> this house is too big, I know. I've learned my lesson. We're going small in the next house. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Give a bath to the dog, please. Vikram. Bianca deserves a good nap, honestly. 
she's dazed and she doesn't ever really need to sleep ever again because of the trait that I got her, but I think she deserves it. Yes, there is a pig on the table in the pink bedroom. Because why not? Why wouldn't you have a pink, a pig in the pink room? That's where the pig belongs. Beautiful, everyone's doing what they gotta do. Uh -huh. Did you wash your axe today? I have not seen that TikTok. I think you need to remember that our For You pages are very different, Thea. <laughs> My For You page is often um, Thirst Traps, Steven Universe, and um, like really nerdy language rants. <laughs> It's all over TikTok. That doesn't mean it's all over everybody's TikTok is the thing. Are you going to take the food with you to go jogging? What's happening right now? You're going to shovel snow? Why did you break the shower? He is going to go take the food with him to go jogging. That's quite the choice you've made. Yeah, he's gonna go back inside to put the food down, I bet you. On the counter where he got the food from. What are you, what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> What the fuck is he doing? That was a hell of a start to the jog. <laughs> you might take up the maid. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I stopped him from shoveling the snow then. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> We're going to have to hire a maid at some point soon and see if she comes back. I mean, we didn't even introduce ourselves to her, so we don't know her. <laughs> Oh good, he did eventually put the food down. The ham dinner. We're just gonna leave it in the middle of the road to expire, that's fine. Who's calling Bianca? John, I don't want to come see your new cat, I'm so sorry, I already did see it. Bianca, you can wake up now though. She wants to debate somebody.
Blake, I don't care what you're doing there. Don't put away the duck. Go do your homework. Where are you, Blake? Yeah, go do your homework. And then you can go to bed when you're done. Left it in the snow for the maid to clean up, of course. <laughs> it's where she is. And don't chat with Blake. No, you should continue making your mobile app, Bianca. For the 20 minutes before you go to work. When did Jasper get back home? I fully didn't even see him come in. And somehow he take he took a shower during that time period too. But apparently it didn't affect his his hygiene at all. <laughs> You should go to work, Bianca. Now, please. Considering you got caught hacking your work performance today, maybe you should go in and work hard. Go in semi on time and work hard. Bianca's off to work. There was another one in there, wasn't there? I guess not. Okay, stop talking to each other. Do your homework. Weibo. Weibo. <laughs> Okay, guys, finish your homework. Vikram, you can, um, can you open another present yet, actually? It is still Winterfest. I kind of forget that. Weibo means fuck you, probably. <laughs> he got a glutton spiel. It's a book. We'll put that on the bookshelf. <laughs> Daddy Winter's here! Daddy Winter? Hello? Everybody come introduce yourself to Daddy Winter. We're going to get more gifts. Vikram, can you say hello to him, please? <laughs> Who gives? Kunata. Introduce yourself to him. Quonsebo. <laughs> Yeah, hold on a minute. You can wake up, go to the bathroom, eat something, and then come say hello to Santa. Alright, you are going to ask for a present. You are going to ask for a present. 
You want to see two? Put it in Discord, Theo. As long as it's appropriate. <laughs> You finished your homework. You're going to come introduce yourself. Nothing inside the present for Vikram. That's terrible. <laughs> you sent it privately? Okay, well, I appreciate you thinking about that. <laughs> Did Blake not get a present? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can stop talking and go over here. We got a Jazz Cat's Whiskers of a Forgotten Past. What is that? <laughs> it doesn't even tell us. Well, you got your present. You can go to bed. You're getting your present from Daddy Winter. And you're busy getting food from the fridge for right now. The comments on the video, I'll check it in a minute. We got an easel. That kind of sucks, he's not artsy at all, but that's fine. And then, what are you going to get? Wait, where'd Daddy Winter go? Where'd he go? Oh. I think he's trying to get to this present, for whatever reason. Imagine Santa comes over your house just to go in your bedroom for, <laughs> for hours. <laughs> Alright, talk to Daddy Winter, get your social up, get a present. You've still got school tomorrow. Dad dancing, yeah, truly. <laughs> Ask for present from Daddy Winter. Buna 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 buna. What are we getting for a present for her? Daddy Winter. <laughs> she got a Junior Wizard starter set. That's actually kind of cool. It's got to be in our in our inventory though. I wonder if it counts as dark out right now. Let's go try to solve her her fear of the dark. And Daddy Winter can do whatever the hell he wants for the rest of the time that he's here. And we'll check, we'll check on the presents that we got in a minute here. You're a wizard, Melody. <laughs> Just asked to move in with her? Oh my goodness. <laughs> right off the bat after meeting her? That's crazy. Finally! Okay, so we got rid of her fear of the dark. Good. Go to bed. I don't know what Daddy Winter is doing, though. What are you up to, my guy? No, I think growing together was a really good pack, though, honestly. Every part of it I am into. I enjoy. <laughs> Do 
You work in 12 hours, Vikram. Once it hits two, I think we'll have Vikram go to bed for a little bit. Because that's probably when Daddy Winter will leave. I think he left around three last year, but... He's hanging out with Fabo a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> I, too, would hang out with Fabo if I came into this house and had to give everybody gifts. So what are you up to now, Daddy Winter? What's the plan? Half hour left of Christmas. How are you spending it? Just standing there, talking to Fabo. No, he's come to use our computer, maybe? No, he's going to pet cash you for a little bit. He's making sure he's paying attention to everybody in the family. That's good. I can't believe John is having another kid. That's so good. Melody had a wonderful time. Vikram had a wonderful time. Bianca had a wonderful time. Jasper had a wonderful time. And Blake had a wonderful time. Good. They all had a good holiday. Boyfriend's coming over. No worries. Have fun, Theo. Thanks for hanging out. I'm probably ending once Bianca comes home from work anyway, so you're not going to miss much. Because <laughs> I still got to go to the gym and everything. I got to enjoy the weather today. It looks like it's nice out there. Why are you still here, Daddy Winter? He's just chilling. He lives here now. Marching on, strolling through the house. Back to Fabo. Back to hanging out with the dog. Like I said, I probably can't blame him because I too would spend a lot of time with Fabo if I came into this house. <laughs> um, but it is funny that he's just chilling here. Maybe he's waiting to give Bianca her gift. Because she gets home in a couple of minutes and she can ask him for a present maybe. She earned almost $2,000, which is ridiculous. Oh, she can't ask for a present because it's not Winterfest anymore. But you know what? She can come brighten his day for a second. And maybe ask him to leave. Fight Father Winter for presents. So maybe we can still get presents from him? We can give him a gift. We can't just ask him for one. You know what? Let's... Hold on a minute. Oh, we don't have a camera. Okay, well, bye, Daddy Winter. I guess he's leaving, so that's fine. <laughs> um, and I think on that note, I will save and exit out here. Ask him for a present. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, sometimes saying no to them, like, they'll ask if you want to be best friends, and if you already have a best friend and you say no, they'll be, like, hurt by that. And it's like, I... <laughs> there was no good option here either i hurt my best friend currently or i hurt you by telling you i don't want to be my best your best friend like what's the right option so i'm glad you managed to do so without destroying the friendship 
260 hours. That's crazy. Off to work? No worries, Doc. I think I'm probably ending stream here anyway, so you aren't missing much here. Um, but, oh my god, Cozy almost 400 hours? That's the real crazy one. <laughs> Not that anyone else is, isn't crazy because of that, but like, ah! <laughs> Panda, almost a month and a half now. That's weird. That doesn't feel right. It feels like longer, but it also feels like shorter. I don't know. <laughs> lovely rest of the day. You too, Nico. Thank you all for hanging out with me this afternoon. It's been a lovely, lovely stream. There's been a lot of chatting going on, which is always nice in a, in a Sunday stream. Um, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go have lunch. I'm going to hang for a bit. And then I'm going to come back on, I think. Um, I know I promised I would yesterday, and then I just wound up not. But I think today I am more in a build mood, and I think yesterday was more a product of I didn't have a weekend last weekend, so I wanted to have, like, a weekend today. <laughs> or yesterday, I guess. So I will try to come back on later on. Um, I think we'll, I think I will try to find, like, a, a shell or something to do a shell challenge. I'm in a buildy mood, I think. Um and we'll see what we're building. We'll find out. <laughs> um, for now, thank you all for hanging. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of the afternoon. Lovely evening, if I don't happen to catch later on. Yeah, maybe we'll build John a new house. That's true. He does need one. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, no, that seems like the best option of something to do. Um, we'll do that. So, till then. I hope you all have a lovely afternoon, lovely evening. If I don't happen to catch you, I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly check to see if there's someone to raid. But if not, this is where I leave you. <laughs> um, nobody who I know is on. So on that note, 